Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Coach Derek from the PSP Showcase. It's gorgeous out, and it's Monday. I got a little Monday message for you. It's based around one word, respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. But I'm gonna go with two different lines of thought on this. <clears throat> First one, respect the game. Um, and <clears throat> coaches do a pretty good job of this. Uh, you know, they, they, they talk it up, you know, in youth baseball, little league and younger select teams and respecting the game, you know, um, you know, sportsmanship and, <clears throat> you know, um, you know, high fives and don't question umpires and, and, and all that. But I want to talk about, it spends a few seconds talking about respect in the game. And I'm not talking about, in the actual game, but <clears throat> in everything that encompasses the game. Respect in the game. Respect your coach's time. Respect your teammate's time. Um, <clears throat> oftentimes, you know, parents and players are quick to ridicule the coach. Um, that coach is out there just as much as the players are, or maybe even more. Um, <clears throat> so respect the coach. Respect the coach's time. <clears throat> show up and be prepared to work and be willing to compete. That's another piece of respect in the game. Don't fear competition. Don't, don't want to play on a crappy team and, and get beat all the time <clears throat> because you don't want to compete. Compete, take a job, go out and outplay the other guy that plays the position. <clears throat> that's, that's respect in the game. And <clears throat> the coach's time is valuable. He could be giving that elsewhere. So respect that. <clears throat> respect your teammates' time. You know, if you're one of those guys that, that it, it is often just finding excuses to skip practices, um, you know, oh, I got too much homework tonight, or, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to go do this with my family. And you're always finding excuses to, to miss practice. Um, <clears throat> respect in the game, respect your teammates' time. If your teammates are there putting, grinding it out and you're not, how much are you actually contributing to the team? You know, um, <clears throat> now there may be special circumstances. Maybe you live a long ways away, you know, put that time in, you know, so when you show up and you're with your players, you're, you're actually grinding it out with them and you're showing that you haven't missed anything. Um, <clears throat> again, respect in the game. Um, but respect, the respect in the game and respecting the game is a tempo set by the coach. And if the coach doesn't respect the game or he's not teaching his players to respect him uh, and respects two way street, you know, you got to make sure that as a coach, you're not abusing your authority, make sure you're respecting your players. And this also goes for coaches <clears throat> within your program. You know, you're a tempo setter. So if you're, if you're in a program and you've got <clears throat> maybe one or two coaches that are just like rogue and they do their own thing and, and they, they're quick to just get in the, face of another coach and tell them, well, this is the way it is, because that's what I say. Um, <clears throat> it might be time to reevaluate who that coach is and maybe get shown him a door, let him exit. Um, <clears throat> and you're, you're a parent, you're a player, if you're watching this, um, and, and even if you're a coach. If you're a coach and you're that guy, don't be that guy. Don't get confrontational with other coaches in your program. If you're confrontational with coaches in your own program, <clears throat> Lord knows what you are outside with other teams. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it's again, it, respect, respect the game, respect in the game. Um, tempo setting, you as a coach set that tempo. Um, <clears throat> have respect for other teams. If, if you get beat, you know, whether it's by one run or you get smashed in 10 runs, teach your players respect in the game. Sportsmanship, go up and congratulate that other team. They, they put a whooping on you. They gave you a good lesson, what you need to do to fix your team. Um, respect is huge. And, and I'll tell you, um, oftentimes, you know, maybe as a parent, you've watched some of these professional athletes and you used to shake your head and you say, man, that guy's such a poor example. You know, <clears throat> I've watched some athletes, um, guys I've played with, guys, guys I've watched on TV, um, <clears throat> I've watched their actions and I'm, I'm, I shake my head. I'm like, man, talent, talent, talent. But between the ears, it's not there. You know, 
that that that's that that character to respect the game and think think through your actions um <clears throat> again um you know parents your coach is a tempo setter and if your coach is kind of a bully in your program and he's always yelling at your kids and doesn't have anything positive to say um <clears throat> And, you know, he's making them grind. There's a difference in, in you know, make, pushing your players and making them grind it out. And there's a difference in punishing them and telling them, you guys absolutely stunk. So I'm going to just abuse you. I'm going to just make you run. You know, and, you know, having your, having your team run for half an hour uh, of the practice, it's not teaching them anything. It's teaching them to hate you as a coach. Um, you know, uh, yeah, they, they have to work harder if they're, they're going to continue to make mistakes, but it's got to be a collective buy-in and you have to assess, is it just one or two, two players? Is it one or two players that are lacking the respect for their teammates and lacking the respect for the coach's time and lacking respect for the organization? Uh, and it also goes back to, you know, like I just mentioned, respecting your organization. Who are you off the field? You know, you're going to get labeled. What, what you wear across your chest, what you wear on your head, you don't just take that off and wash it. You, you, you wear it with you when you go to school. You wear it with you when you go in the community and everything you do with you, the friends you hang out with. So if you're doing questionable things, just know that that, that cloud's going to start hanging over your program. And <clears throat> if you're a coach that's okay with that because he's talented, you're sending the wrong message. Um, <clears throat> these young players have to understand uh, that, that there's consequences for actions because the NCAA is not going to give them a pass on things. Um, so when they get to college, they're not going to get passes on, on, on character flaws. Um, and, and again, it's a tempo with the coach. Um, if the coach is throwing things on the field or, or arguing with umpires all the time, if, if a coach argues with the umpires all the time, why, why wouldn't you expect the kids to? I mean, they're being conditioned. They're being taught how to respect the game. Um, like I've told my players, you know, don't show up. You never show up an umpire, ever. I'll go out and talk to umpires and I'll ask them their point of view because it's, it's <clears throat> their strike zone. It's, it's how they saw the, the play pan out. Um, and, and they're going to make mistakes. They're human. You know, I make coaching mistakes. My players make mistakes in games. Um, <clears throat> I'll ask them what they saw. And if they can explain it to me reasonably, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm good with that. Like if they explain it to me and they don't understand the rule, then I, I, I talk about the rule. Like, so again, tell me how that applies with the rule. Um, <clears throat> so again, though, it's about respecting the game, respecting the umpires, respecting the coach's time, respecting your teammates' time, respecting your parents' time. Players, your parents spend hours and hours daily and weekly. Leave, they leave work early. They, they, travel you, they travel around. They buy you food. They <clears throat> put you in hotels. Respect your parents' time, okay? Respect is a big word, and I think if, if in today's world and society we can get back to respecting each other more, um, we can make leaps and bounds, not just in our sport, but outside the lines. So again, um, players, respect the game, respect in the game. Don't waste your coach's time, your teammates' time. Don't waste your time. If you're not really into the sport to try and get to the next level, don't play on a next level team. You know, because the reality is, is no matter how much money you pay to travel around all these showcases and stuff, if you're not putting the, the, the work in, you're not getting with a hitting coach or a position coach, or you're not doing all the individual work to make yourself better, skill will get you to, to play in the next level. If you just want to get on a team, then great, you got on a team. But it's not going to be like it is here with your select program when you get to college. It's going to be a dogfight for, for, for playing time. So, <clears throat> again... Um, the word of the day, respect. Hopefully this message found you all having a great start to your week. Take care. God bless.